I'm Ren. Let's see what's making news. Now, you might have heard the word asbestos around a bit lately after traces of it were found all around Sydney. But what is it and why is it such a big deal? Here's Michelle. See these signs? Well, Sydney has been flooded with them after a mineral called asbestos was found in mulch at 22 confirmed sites around the city. And the government is worried there could be even more. And we think it could be over 100. That kind of asbestos being found in a park in Sydney is deeply worrying. Silk like fibre. Asbestos is a naturally occurring mineral that's fire and water resistant and very hard to destroy. It became popular in the 20th century in building material and a heap of other things. The practical uses of asbestos are very numerous. But then the people working with it started to get really sick. You see, the almost invisible tiny fibres that make up asbestos can get stuck in our lungs if we breathe them in and cause cancers and other diseases. It became a global health issue in the 70s and 80s and mines closed, companies stopped using it in their products and in 2003 the Australian government banned it completely. Now authorities aren't quite sure how it's made its way into mulch in Sydney. Seven schools have been closed for testing along with lots of parks and even a hospital. The Environment Protection Authority has also launched its biggest investigation ever to figure out how this happened and is working to get rid of the mulch to keep everyone safe. Whew, people in Western Australia have been sweltering through a massive heatwave. Heat Yesterday, Perth had its fifth day of temperatures over 40 degrees, a new record for February. Really hot, yeah, just beach, lots of beach, lots of sunscreen, lots of water. And there are even more high temps forecast for next week. For the past week or so, festivities have been underway for Lunar New Year. Jack found out what it's all about. Happy New Year! Yes, yes, I'm aware. New Year's was like a month and a half ago. But this is the Lunar New Year. Lunar New Year is a big deal, with more than one and a half billion people celebrating. So why is it being held now? Lunar New Year is in the name Lunar, it follows the lunar calendar. You see, a lunar calendar uses the phases of the moon to count the passage of time, which means every year Lunar New Year is on a different date. It's also called the Spring Festival, where they celebrate by using like firecrackers and wear like gold and red clothing and make big loud noises. <laughs> The colour red and loud noises are part of a tradition to scare away an ancient monster that according to Chinese legend would appear at the end of winter. Each Lunar New Year is named after one of 12 animals of the Chinese zodiac. According to legend, when the gods decided to create this system, they held a race to decide which animal would be first, and the rat won. Each year the animal changes in the order they finish that race. This year is the year of the dragon, and anyone born this year is thought to take on its characteristics, which for a dragon is... Loyalty. They also like to be the centre of attention. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. All right, now it's time to buckle yourself in because these next stories have got people going bananas. First up... Three, two, one... Blast off! Yep, this SpaceX rocket is en route to the moon. And it's a pretty special journey because if successful, it'll be the first privately owned lander to touch down on the lunar surface. Bon voyage! We now orbit back to Earth, where it seems Taylor Swift has taken over Melbourne. We love you, Taylor! Yeah, you could say people are just a little excited. <laughs> The Australian leg of the Eras tour starts tonight and over the next couple of weekends she'll entertain Aussie fans across seven sold out shows. And finally, a new study has revealed that apes are rather silly, just like us. Yeah, it showed that playfully teasing their mates comes naturally to chimpanzees, gorillas, orangutans and bonobos. It was really interesting. They really looked for the reactions. They looked towards the target's face. Ah, look at this little jokester. Well, that's all we've got time for today. Hope you have a great weekend and we'll see you on Monday. Bye! <laughs>